Welcome back to Magical Minecraft, everybody. Snazzy goggles, you emitters, you might say. Yes, they are. Uh, so, we are going to be making something that I've been wanting to make for a while. Uh, but I haven't gotten around to doing it for some odd reason. And uh, we're going to do it now, so let's just get our paper, our ink. You baiter. Uh, and let's take a look inside the book. What is this under? I don't even know what this is under. Artifice? Ah, yes, it is under artifice. Let's take a look here. Let's look at some things. Sinister lodestone. My foot fell asleep. Hold up. Sorry for that noise. I want to make this right here. Bone bow. So we're going to get the research notes for this. And we're going to make this baby. So let's head over here. Uh, oh yeah. I finally redecorated this area. You now I got like, an infinite water source going right here. Got some, got some lamps. What are these called? Arcane lamps. We're all good to go. I need to get some silverwood trees though. Plant some of those. What is this for? Alconics. Uh, that's from this one right here, Thalmic Horizons. This is a very cool mod uh, add-on for Thalmcraft. But let us do this one. Ooh. I'm gonna suck at this on the camera. Uh, let's make one of those. How much, uh, Ordo do I have? Never any, to be honest. I never have Ordo. Uh, but let's see here. We got the sword, which I don't even know what that is. Telum. And then we got air, and then we got modus. All right, we can connect the modus and air together, but how are we gonna do that, you ask? We use census, and then we use air, and then census and air again. I'm probably gonna make that more efficient. I don't really care though, as long as, long as it works. Am I right? Yes. Thanks. Uh, but what's this sort of thing? So we need Ignis or we need uh, the tool one. And then this tool one connects with Ordo and this one connects with Ordo too. So let's do this. And then let's do this. And let's do this. Oh shit, it's supposed to be the tool, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't matter either way, we can just go like this. All right, bone bow, here we go. Let's take a, let's take a look at this. Cause this bow is, Somewhat good as it is. 11.2 damage is pretty good. Like, look at my frame rate is 12 right now. Like, like why is this bow? Take it out and go. It goes back up. So there's some wrong with bow. It's probably because of, like the 3D rendering in that area. Is that a brain? It's an inspiration. Uh, all right. Let's take a look back at it. Here it is. Ah, bone bow. Uh, you have discovered a way of crafting a bone, a bow from a bone and infusing it with entropic energy. Result weapon, the resulting weapon is capable of firing much faster than a normal bow. An arrow launched from it travels faster and hit harder. Uh, alright, yeah, we got entropy. No problem. We'll tra travel to the swamp house because so far away. Uh, I'll be ma making more things sooner or later here. I found an area where I might want to do witchcraft. Is that what it's called? Witchery? You know that mod I played for like a whole entire series? Yeah, that one. Uh, where's the shards? The entropy ones. Do I not have entropy anymore? I don't think I have entropy anymore. It doesn't matter because we got this anal powder here. Uh, I don't have entropy shards. Well, she. Uh, let's just read what else is in the book. Primal arrows. Arrows with elemental bite. Let's get some research notes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go find this entropy stuff. All right. So, uh, what did it say? The arcane workbench. So we're on the arcane workbench. This is in the middle. And then, ooh, what am I doing? You don't put strings on the front of bows, am I right? Yes. Bow of bone. Bow. Bow of bone. Yeah, that's what it's called. Can't shoot it. Do I need the magical arrows, or is it just because I don't have arrows at all? I don't know. Let's just research these uh, magical arrows. Just because. Oh my. Okay. Let's not do that. Uh, does anything else relate off of this? No. What is this? Infernal Furnace. That looks fucking cool. Warding. Warded Arcana. 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 <clears throat> uh, basic artifact. No, 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 no. Those things are not really useless, I would say, but I don't care about them. Infusion. Oh God. Let's not worry about infusion. Infusion kind of scares me. The whole big thing with that. 
Sinister Lodestone. Like, what even is that? I don't know, but let's, uh, let's do this Apocryphe one. Uh, because, is it? No. Al Alcaponics. Not Apocryphe. What? The Al Alcaponics. Let's do this. Ooh. That's not that hard. Uh, they should all relate to Terra at some point in time. Okay, well, these, this one relates to her, though, so. Let me just go like this. Get Herba. And then uh, get Terra. I'm probably gonna make this a lot more efficient, but again, I don't fucking care. Um, and now we got, what is that, Lux? Lux is light. How can we connect these two together? We got this, Humanus, which is Wolf and Brain. Or Bishi. Ah, okay, so the Brain. Got it. Why'd I do that? What was the reason for that? <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, we need to go like this. And then, what is it, brain? Brain, and then we can connect this with this. Alright, let's see, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, ooh. Ooh. Uh, while inanimate matter is easy enough to modify alchemy, living things seldom survive the process. Recent work has taken a somewhat different tack. Instead of attempting to modify plants, you have simply used it alchemy to accelerate life natural life cycle i can't read this is pretty cool uh yeah we can make a bunch of things like that that will maybe be useful i don't know once i set up this golden farm i don't think we need to worry which i might have to set up underground or something crazy because these fucking these mobs they're like swooping in and shit why did i make that noise but they're like swooping in for the golems all right uh after success of aquaponics oh Alchemy. You say alchemy like that. You don't say alchemy. Maybe you do. Uh, alcaponics. Applying a similar process to animals seems to be logical. Next step. Providing a chicken egg with the warmth and raw life energy guarantees that the embryo with, within will survive when the egg is open. Better yet, be limiting the process to chicken's infancy. You have seen. You seem to have solved the rapid aging, which plagued your crops. Must be help. Incubate. Well, let's you make an incubated egg. I don't really care too much about. Why does that happen? Do you see that? Look. Well, I think I know why that happens. I feel like something in Ars Magica that makes like stuff translucent. Like you see how that books trans. The bookcases are translucent for some reason. I don't know what does that. I really hate that. Uh, let's get regular arrows and see if regular arrows work. Where do I put regular arrows? I have three of them. Oh yeah, regular arrows do. Oh shit. Just start fucking firing. Alright, uh, let's put like infinity on this baby. And uh, we will do that. Because that will help a lot. That will be tremendous help. Oh look, this is a nice trader. Hi, that's a garbage trade. Uh, I'm breaking, yes. That cost 30 fucking levels. <laughs> oh no. Can I have those levels back? And then can I get an infinity one? Oh yeah, that works. Can I put anything else? Oh, yeah, there you go. Alright, so now we got this. And our lucky wanderer friend will test this out. Jeez, man, that's fast as hell. You see that? Oh, you see that speed? That was fast. I need to add like a nice design to the top of my roof. It's something I've always wanted to be, wanted to be done. Uh, let's take out that dude over there. I gotta arc it a little bit more. Whoa, what the fuck? Why'd he drop? Shit, I shoot so many arrows. I'll oh, take out the witch. Take out the witch. Yeah! Oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's hard to stop shooting these once you start firing. Eh, take out that bird. This is really hard to aim. Oh, there you go. Oh, damn, it does the same amount of damage as uh, the crossbow. Like 11. Crossbow does like 11 point something, but who cares? Actually, no, that didn't even do 11. That was like 9. Eh. Oh, damn, I thought I'd arch that shot right there. Alright, let's just pop him. That's it. Bang. Hey, we're almost, almost to level 25. We start getting green points and... Definitely getting closer to be able to fight uh, 
the next boss in Ars Magica. I haven't been able to get Ryan on because he's been busy. Be busy. Come on, take out that fucking Epion. Take out that Epion. There we go. Only took like 10 hundred shots. All right, this episode is probably gonna be like two different days when I record it, uh, just because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be busy the rest of the day of recording this right now. Like I gotta go really soon. And uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do off camera is uh, study all these. You see how many things are on that? Uh, I'll just mess around with this and I'll also make the arrows, but the arrow research note, as you saw, was pretty hard. And I'm also gonna try and set up the golem farm off, off camera. But first, before we go, there's a grim zombie here. And uh, I don't really like his presence. You need chill too damn fast. Are you the grim zombie? Zombie. Where's the Grim Zombie at? Yo, there was a massacre that happened not too long ago in my uh, area here. It's Jangoos! I didn't even see these Jangoos. I just heard the bubbling. Oh, there he is right here. Let's go, boy. Keep fucking wrecked. Yo, can we. <laughs> What's in here? <gasps> oh, my useless. Alright, so I just leveled up. Now, I really wanted to show this real quick. Uh, you know, I said I was supposed to go here. I'm back magically due to the power of editing. But look, I got my first green number. Level 22 is when you get your first green one, apparently. And now so many things open up. It's insane. Life tap. Dispel. Uh, mining power. Binding is opened up now. Rift. Like, what the fuck? It, rift? Create water. Drought. Those don't sound that useful, but they look cool. Mana regen 2, Mage Posse 1. Mage Posse 1. Alright, from what I know from the Mage Posse thing, we can get like a squad going with us here, uh, which is really cool. I'm just looking at all these other things. Ignition, that'd be nice to have. What else? There's also this one I always wanted. It was Watery Grave, but I don't really care about that one too much. Uh, Let's go with Area of Effect. Area of effect? I want area of effect. No, what's one that like does multiple Forge, Firestorm, Star Strike? I know there's one of them that we can get in the future that gives us like Rock and roll in your brain. Oh, so you guys can't see me dancing right now. Uh, <laughs> let's get that area of effect on. It's so short. I remember that being a lot longer than that. Alright, yeah, I'll see you guys in another clip whenever that is. Alright, to end this episode off we well, it's been a while, and I've been farming these dudes in the nether called Lost Souls, and I caught one in a trapped soul bucket. This may just be, like, out of nowhere, but we have this mod in here called Soulcraft, and it's a mod that I barely see in many mod packs. And I did a lot of off-camera work because I wanted to get a new sword, because I don't really want to use this sword that much. Uh, not because, I, I just want to, like, you know, a variety in weapons I use, uh, mostly. And... So I have everything in here. Now check this out. To get these soul blocks and spawn eggs, you can actually craft. And this, you can understand the part that takes a while here is like, look how many soul blocks you have to use. Uh, and then you got to get these things. And it's just, it's just a whole lot of work. So you need soul fragments. You get small soul fragments from lost souls, with look, which look like little fucking sperm endermen. Is really all I can explain it. They're tiny. Uh, and then you gotta catch one in a bucket. And then, uh, which was weird. Because I think I crashed the server when I did it, so I had to spawn in the bucket. Because you're supposed to actually like pick them up when you right click them, but it crashed the server. So I just had to spawn in the bucket because it wouldn't let me pick them up. And then you gotta make soul fragments, which are nine small soul fragments. And then you gotta use four of these to make them into a block. And you just use a bunch of recipes for things. I use four of these to make them into this right here. And then boom, bada bing, do all of that work. And here we are. We put the trap soul in the middle. Now. I believe I should yeah this is what we need so now we go like this with this uh, soul sword which is really easy to make uh, right there where is there it is and then we do this and here we go soul sword v2 now check out the enchantments on the sword the pre enchantments that come with it 
regen, teleportation, fire aspect, and poison. That is insane right there. Uh, and I got a bunch of sh things to show off before we end off this episode. Uh, we're gonna go over here to the enchantment thing. We're just gonna do this. Put, uh, unbreaking all the way up on it. And, uh, I guess we'll keep the sword out with us now. Because we do got these other two ones. This one, this is not the Ass Engager. The Cinderfall one is pretty cool, but... I uh, just want to, you know, variety, like I said. So, I've been doing a lot of work with golems and stuff. Check this out. We got these uh, chickens over here, which I used a um, that egg from Thalmic Horizons. Thalmic. Use the, the little egg. Where is it at? Here it is. Yeah. Incubated, incubated egg, which uh, when you throw it down, it automatically, like, is a 100% chance that a baby chicken will pop out of it. And I made two of them and I breeded those two together. And now we got this over here. The golem farm. Look how many tallow golems I have. This took a little while to get all these guys going here. But uh, I got this straw golem. He harvests He harvests uh, the stuff. Puts in that chest right there. And then we got uh, the wood golem. He also harvests blocks and put them in chests. But then we got the tallow golems. Which uh, these guys are the farmers. And then we got the golem slave master here. What is he really? He's really just an NPC that loads this chunk. So uh, when I'm not, when no one's on the server, uh, he will load the chunks and these guys can farm away and they're, they're doing pretty good. They're doing okay. I mean, it's a farm. It doesn't really grow that fast. And uh, they're very nice. They're trying to collect the blocks outside of here. I don't know what I was going for in this design. I was trying to look for a sickle so I can make like a hammer and sickle. Just like a... You know, the USSR, but I couldn't, I couldn't find one. So we'll just throw these eggs down, because I don't really care about the eggs. Uh, I, I think I have, like, a stack of eggs anyways. Stack is in 16. But, yeah, these guys are, they're workable on a farm. Tallow golems aren't that bad to make. Oh, and I also made this a uh, new focus on this thing. Not the equal trade one, but uh, let me get the pouch. Well, I didn't make the equal trade one, too. But I made this right here, the wand focus. Freets flames, which was a bad idea. Uh, it, it combined both the fire one and the uh, the the one that breaks 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 blocks, but it's not really that useful. This like, you can only use it on blocks that smelt, from what I know. And I don't even like it doesn't even work half the time <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do this. Check this out. If I were to is it click on this? <laughs> Ew, this disease here. Get this. This is disgusting. I hate this disease. This disease has spread everywhere. And I hate it so much. Like, maybe you don't see it now because I cleared out a good bit of it in this area. But, uh, a lot of it is in this forest right here. And I tried clearing it out and it's just like, there's mobs that keep on getting disease. I don't know. I might have to disable that. It's kind of funny, actually, though. So we'll just go to Golemancy here. They're not that hard to make, but they're not that easy to make either. You gotta make tallow. Well, here's what you need. You know, some simple stuff. Tallow. This tallow is fairly simple to make. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we we did we did some work in this episode. I made this bow even stronger. I put bow luck on it. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's sharpness in uh in this mod. Did someone cut down a tree? Why is there ants over here? Oh no, it must have been a root right. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I've been liking this bow. This bow is nice. Maybe I'll get the elemental arrow sooner or later. But uh, real fast before we go, yeah, this silver. I got silver. It's happening in Google, like right out here. Uh, just because I heard these things stop taint, and sometimes they have a pure. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to show. So many things. So many things. Let's go to the Ordo node. Check this out. We also gotta do that loads chunks here. Uh, but look at this. Yep. Uh, we got this. The node. Oh, shit. The node stabilizer here. And I made this look really nice and just like helps the node out. And makes it stabilized in the node. What else can I say? Yeah, see you guys next time in that.